Most of my YouTube videos have been made using this Canon camcorder, which is now some four years old and by today's standards quite primitive insofar as it still uses tape, 8mm digital tape, to as the recording medium. Um, there's no reason to change it because it works fine and the picture quality is 1080p well 1080i actually but I convert it to p anyway so this actually as I'm speaking to you now I'm speaking using the internal microphone but I thought it would be quite useful to have an external one so if I'm away from the camera um, it doesn't sound like I'm speaking from the bottom of the garden. So I purchased this thing off eBay. Uh, look for the link on here. It wasn't expensive, but it is a proper brand name, um, be it one that I've never heard of, as opposed to the sort of generic microphone that's, well, doesn't have any brand names on it. It's just an OEM. So I thought I would test this out live. Um, I'm not going to bother you with taking it out of the box and showing you how it's packed and things like that because that's really a bit boring and there's plenty of people doing that. So let's just have a look what you actually get. Well these are the basic ingredients. Um, a relatively long cable. I have, don't know how long yet because I haven't undone it. Um, a very lightly gold plated 3.5mm four pole plug. Um, this is where the unit that holds the battery and also contains the preamp if required. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and a, a little extension for standard quarter inch jack. And of course the microphone with a nice little wind piece, uh, wind sock. And of course a small battery. Well let's start by installing the battery. Now I don't anticipate this being rocket science, so this piece comes apart. Oh, a very long thread on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And what have we got? Well, that's very straightforward. The positive goes to the back, so that just literally pops in there like that. So much for the inst installate, installate, installation. Can't speak today. Right, that's that done. Well, there's a very useful little leaflet in here. Um, there is a proper manual as such, I'll show you later. Um, but this is important. Obviously, this is a what is known as a condenser microphone and which means it needs a polarizing voltage to work and that's what the one and a half volt battery is and it will also probably have a, a FET little preamp inside um, because a condenser mic inherently has a very high impedance and the output that is required for most appliances would be low impedance so that's basically what the FET will do plus it will give you a degree of gain that the output from a condenser microphone is very low. I suppose we should call it a capacitance microphone really but um, anyway we won't worry about that. Now the important thing is I'm going to use this with a camera so the switch has to be in an upward position which means camera up. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm going to plug this into the camera now so it'll be interesting to see if it sounds good or rubbish. Well, I don't know if this is coming out or not because I've got no way of monitoring this at the present, but I'm holding the microphone at about the same distance from the camera that I did when I was using the internal microphone. So it'll be interesting to see any difference in the sound. I'm now holding it next to my chest where it would normally be pinned so let's see what that sounds like. We've actually come outside now to do a, a proper test. I'm standing about 12 foot from the camera and I'm just speaking using the internal microphone of the camera. 
So let's do the same test again using the new microphone. I've just spent the last 10 minutes looking for the little foam cover that goes on the microphone which has already fallen off so a little bit of glue is required there I think. Well I don't know how this sounds it will be as new to you as it is to me when I come to edit this video and have a listen to it but I'm standing in roughly the same place speaking if anything slightly quieter because when you know the microphone is right over there you do tend to raise your voice slightly so I guess if I speak in a more normal voice, which sounds really weird <laughs> when, when the microphone's right here and the camera's over there, it does sound weird. Now this is part of the manual showing the claimed frequency response. Now I've done frequency response checks using similar equipment to this in the past and you can take it from me that no microphone gives a response as flat as that. There's all sorts of peaks and troughs. Now the way they get that response is to run the graph so fast, in other words they scan from 20 hertz to 20k so fast that the pen recorder doesn't have enough time to actually show you the um, actual frequency response. Low frequency response is not an issue uh, simply because it's being used for voice and you don't really want the, the response to be too much because it will suffer from wind noise and things like that. But luckily this does come with that little um, foam microphone I've yet to test it out in the wind because it's quite mild today but time will tell right this is the place that I bought this from and um, al although I paid in New Zealand dollars um, it says it costs six pounds 56 or nine dollars or ten dollars US and that's post free and it took about just over two and a half weeks to get here so typical post from Ch from China. One last test I thought I'd do is to play a brief piece of music before YouTube gets upset and uh, compare it with the internal mic on the camera with the new mic. <laughs> Right, well I've just um, started doing my video editing of this video and the conclusions that I've drawn from it is the microphone is more sensitive than the internal microphone but um, I've, I don't like the sound of it actually close to my mouth. Um, I find it bass heavy and boomy and the, the sound from this internal microphone on the camera is, is far better for, for close up work. But saying that, um, it does, with the increased sensitivity, capture the outside ambience very nicely. And I think if I can use the microphone further away from my face, it's probably, I think, it, I think it's fair to say it's good value for money and it will have applications in my video making. If only I could make it filter out my ums and ahs it would be a wonderful microphone. So I think I would rate it 7 out of 10 but as a lapel microphone to be used in its actually intended purpose I would only rate it 5 out of 10 because the sound isn't very natural. But I'd be interested to hear what you think of it because after all I'm making these videos for you not for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.